Deep beneath the frost-backed mountains sits Ozimar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Ozimar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Ozimar's impregnable construction, the dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endrin of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the noble assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission, the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Of course, if every other noble has a shield and three swords, you'll feel awfully underdressed. One can't take all this marching about and speech-making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. much that you don't already know. My father's father was a great hero of the Deep Roads excursions and raised the family to the top of the warrior caste. He was even nominated to join the assembly and found a noble house, but the honor was in the nomination. He wasn't afforded a single vote. My father served your father for many years, and now I serve you. Yes, I yearn to face the Darkspawn and prove my worth as your second. May the stones support us, and the ancestors look down with pride. As you will. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry for how you... I'm sorry. I thought you were Prince Balin coming down the hall. I... <laughs> forgive me. She's, uh... 
It seems she's one of your brother Balin's newest, um, companions. Prince Balin is attending the feast being held in Lord Idukin's honor. Yes, of... of course. <laughs> it was presumptuous of me to think that he would return to... I am sorry. I will show myself out with your leave, my lord. Thank you. I will go now. Sure you want to go to the feast now? I doubt we can escape to see the provings once we're inside. I can't wait to see who's fighting today. Your father has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the Diamond Quarter during these celebrations. I'm sure we can work this out reasonably. That's outrageous. We certainly have some gall merchants. Our trust follow, big brother. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling's second, I will ask for it. Yes, Your Highness. Your lack of a sense of duty to your house is obvious. I can't imagine why you are receiving a commission. I expect after tomorrow I'll spend much time apologizing to the heads of the noble houses for the deaths of their children under your incompetent command. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, Trian? As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you, get to the feast! I'd advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Come, Balin. That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. We can only hope. Perhaps we should get going. But my lord, these are surface silks, dyed with the finest saffron and indigo, and embroidered by skilled elven tradesmen. I've seen Prince Balin I do can himself wear the robe. What about that one? I don't see this. My lord, are you heading to the Proving Arena? We have been charged with the task of escorting you to the Proving Grounds. I clean forgot about that. Forgive me, I should have informed you sooner. The King decided you were not to travel through the commons unguarded. Will we be leaving then? We are at your command. Highness, it is an honor to have you here. Have you come to watch these brave warriors do battle in your honor? Your presence encourages the fighters to greater feats. I'll call the first fighters in a moment.
good day, Lord Adukin. My lord? Your wish is our command. My lord, I do. Might I raid tomorrow? Many thanks for your willingness to hear me out, my lord. I wish to speak to you of a matter most urgent. There is a vote coming before the assembly next week. And a word from you could go a long way towards helping our cause. The vote concerns the status of the so-called surface cast, lost to the stone, air-touched, and so forth. Centuries ago, narrow-minded men declared that any dwarf who left to live on the surface forfeited his caste and his house if noble, that he was, in essence, no longer a dwarf. I seek only to remedy an injustice, to retie the bonds of anyone who can trace himself to one of the noble houses wherever he may live. Please, agree to speak for this noble cause. When your father presents you to the noble houses, I will ask for your opinion on the matter. You have merely to say that you feel our surface brothers should be returned their noble rights. What could be more simple? You're a fool. My king, please reconsider. Trade contracts alone could bring great prosperity to our houses. Will we really turn our back on our brothers and a potential fortune in cheap labor because of a political technicality? Denial of the traditions of our people does not qualify as a political technicality. There is more to life than monetary gains, my lords Bimo and Mino. The assembly of Kal Sharak will respect the rule of Ozamar, or they will rot and die alone, surrounded by enemies. Yes, my king. But look, we have company to spare us further wrangling. A trust Vala, my son. How fine you look in your great grandfather's armor. Are you ready to be presented to the heads of the noble houses? So dutiful. <laughs> Very well. Let us begin. Lords, ladies, grant me a moment of your time. We are here today so I may present to you my second eldest child, blessed by the stone and born of the blood that ran in the veins of the Paragon Idukan. Who would pose a question to the prospective commander? Who seeks to know the prospect better? I have a question. I seek to know the prospect better. Lord Dace, head of House Dace, speak. Lords, ladies, my question concerns the plight of our wayward kin, the so-called surface caste. What does the Commander Prospect think is the proper place for these lost souls? Thank you, my lord. I am satisfied. Then if there are no other challenges, I give you Ozamar's next commander. Tomorrow, our newest commander will lead part of a mission to strike a great blow to the Darkspawn. Not only does this recover access to some of our most important minds, but it also allows our honored guest Duncan, head of Ferelden's Grey Wardens, to strike far into the deep road. Thank you, King Endrin. While the Darkspawn seem to withdraw, it is only because they are massing on the surface. This could mean a blight, and my men and I will discover the truth. We are honored to have you with us, my friend. Now, 
feast, drink, and celebrate, for the morning brings battle! As for you, my new commander, find your brother Trian and send him to me. He may be watching the Proving's, or getting some rest in his rooms. Walk well, Commander. So you're a commander now, in name at least. Shouldn't you be attending our King Father? Of course he does. We must discuss strategy before tomorrow's battle. Balin, stay here and stroke the new commander's conceit if you like, but then get to bed. All day I've put up with that. He can really grate on the nerves. And what I'm going to tell you next won't make you any more fond of him. Unfortunately, I am. Trian has begun to move against you. I never thought his much-proclaimed honor would allow him to actually act on his jealousy. Big Brother, Trian is going to try to kill you. I wouldn't have believed it myself if I hadn't overheard him giving orders to his men. Trian's decided you're a threat to his taking the throne. Maybe he's right. He fears what you are becoming, in the eyes of the people and the Assembly. Trian's the named prince, but only the Assembly can proclaim a king. It would be unusual for the Assembly to ignore the king's choice, but it does happen. The founder of House Bimo became a paragon and king in one move from the Assembly, and he was a commoner. That was an extraordinary case, but at least a half dozen times the Assembly named a lesser family member, or even someone from another house, as king. Usually, it's the popular younger brother of an undesirable prince. If you win glory against the Darkspawn tomorrow, it will only strengthen the case for you as the next heir. Trian Veer's father will replace him on the spot. If not, the Assembly will surely turn against him when Father dies. You know his pride will never allow him to step aside. It seems Trian has shown that brothers can't always be trusted. I am next in line. If Trian succeeds in his plot against you, how long do you think I'll live? You're the Elder. I'll follow your lead as always. Very well. I'll keep my eyes open. I don't want to lose the brother I actually like. You're welcome. I'm taking your place as Father's second, so I'll be at hand tomorrow. For now, try to get some sleep. May the Paragon smile down on you. Trion and his men will clear the way for the Grey Wardens to descend into the easternmost caverns. Those caverns are still infested by the worst of the Darkspawn. We cannot risk our own troops in there. Understood, Lord Haramont. We should be able to sense the Darkspawn, and avoid them once the way is open. 
May the Paragons favor you, and the stone catch you if you fall. Come, men! Glory awaits! Balin, you and your men will second the king, clearing the main road. Don't you think it looks a little cowardly to allow these humans to take our place where the fighting is thickest? Are you questioning the battle plan? Of course not. I'm sure your caution is for the glory of us all. Enough, Palin! Take your men and make ready. Paramount and I need to have words with your sibling. Good luck, my brother. Your father has a special mission for you. In the eastern deep roads, there is a secret door carved into the stone. The door leads to a taig, abandoned long ago by your ancestors. The Darkspawn have made it impossible to reach it. My father believed that the shield of the Paragon Aidukan remains in that taig, under the stones of the central room. We claim the shield, and glory will be yours. We've sent two scouts ahead to make sure the tunnels are cleared. But be careful. One of the scouts will meet you at the first crossroads you come to. The second will be further in. When you get to the door, use your signet ring to open it. Questions? Very good. The crossroads where you meet the first scout will be the rendezvous point. There you can present the shield to the lords and demonstrate the strength of Idukin. May the ancestors watch over you, my child. You made it, Commander. Did you run afoul of any darkspawn? We didn't expect any activity in these tunnels at all. Once I finished scouting the tunnels, I hid here to avoid the darkspawn. Most tunnels are dead ends. The one we want is swarming with those fiends. It's going to be a fight. As you say, onward then.
Perhaps we should take the time to review what we've learned. Here. I thought the Darkspawn had got you for sure. Then I'll make sure I'm behind you if we're swarmed. We want the tunnel ahead, but there are Darkspawn tracks all over it. Be careful. I'm with you. Like someone beat us to the door. This darkspawn body is still fresh. Whoever opened the door is most likely still in there. Yes, my lord. So glad you could finally join us. We feared you'd gotten eaten by Darkspawn. Turns out the shield isn't quite as easy to retrieve as I was led to believe. I wager you know where it is, though. So maybe you tell me where it is, and I won't mutilate your body so bad your father doesn't recognize you. I'm your better, that's who. And as to how I got in, that's a question you'll have to ask the stone after I butcher you. Now where's the shield? Bit for bite, eh? Both of us banking on killing the other and losing nothing by the telling? Very well. 
One of Prince Trian's men brought me this ring. It opened the door just fine. Now where is the sodding shield? Just kill them, boys. We'll find this shield on our own. We're going to be attacked! Did you see that? As you said, it has begun. No. Stop right there. I shall do it. We are the dragon you ladies. I'll be done. That really tree and signet ring? may be a warning for us to keep our guard up. Agreed. Now perhaps we should find the shield. get the shield. You two, see if you can spot anything. It seems some of these tiles are different from the others. That's it. We've got it. It doesn't look like much. The skill of our crafters has come far since then. But still, the shield of Idukan. If it helps rally the troops, it's a good thing. We need to get to the other rendezvous point. Back in the direction we came from, at the crossroads. To the crossroads. Could be more of those mercenaries. Or dark. Or more from ours.
shall be gone. scheming against us, this would be the perfect place for an ambush. We've got the shield, and we're all alone out here. Of course. What's that you're muttering about? Right you are, Commander. It's Trian. It must have been a dark spawn attack. This doesn't look like dark spawn. No bites, no scratches, no mutilation. Someone's coming. Father, before it's too... My 
all the ancestors. What has happened here? It seems we weren't fast enough. Valand was right. My son, tell me this isn't what it looks like. Just long enough to slay Trian. My lord is innocent. Sir Gorham, your loyalty makes you a useless witness. It falls to others to tell the story. You, Scout, what happened here? Trian and his men were here early. It seems they'd done battle with the Darkspawn. Lord Idukin came up to them all friendly-like, but when we got close, he ordered us to attack. Stop him! Take his weapons! I think we've seen enough. No. If the scout were lying, I might have done much the same. I will not drag my son back to Orzammar in chains without hearing from Fratlin Ivo. Fratlin Ivo, you are a good and noble man. Did the scout speak the truth? He... he did, my lord. It was terrible. Prince Trian didn't stand a chance. Afterward, my lord stripped his signet ring. You treacherous bastard! Silence, Gorham! Do you have anything else to say, my son? I want to believe that. I really do. Find him. He will be judged before the assembly. To Orzammar. sooner had they allowed it. How are you? I could be better. I have bad news, though. The Assembly isn't going to call for you. Balin has taken Trian's place in the Assembly. He introduced a motion to condemn you immediately, and it easily passed. He had fully half the Assembly ready to vote on something completely against tradition and justice. He must have been making deals and alliances for months, if not years. Assembly has already sentenced both of us. My knighthood will be stripped, my name torn from my family records. But I will be allowed to attempt some sort of life on the surface. Lord Harrowmont moved for a similar exile for you, but Balin's supporters overwhelmed him. You were to be sealed in the deep roads to fight Darkspawn until you were overwhelmed and killed. That may have been Balin's first mistake. Lord Harrowmont gave me access to see you so I could tell you this. Duncan and the Grey Wardens are still in the Deep Roads, in tunnels connected to those you are to be left in. If you survive long enough to find the Grey Wardens, you may be able to escape with Duncan. Please, do not be so hard on yourself. Trian's death is a tragedy. Do not compound it by taking your own life. As a Warden, you could make up for all that happened. The Grey Wardens don't care about a person's past. They recruit for daring, intelligence, and martial power. If you can find them, I'm sure you can join them and escape the Deep Roads. I beg to go with you and fight at your side. But Balin's pet nobles wouldn't hear of it. I'm going
going to try to go to Denerim, the human capital. If you make it out, find me. Our time is up. May the Paragons guide your sword and the stone hold you up. I will always be your man, my Lord Idukin. They are ready for you now. Where is the prisoner, Lord Haramont? Having been found guilty of fratricide by the Assembly of Orzammar, you are hereby sentenced to exile and death. Your name is from this point forward stripped from the records. You are no longer a person, nor a memory. You are to be cast into the deep roads with only sword and shield, there to redeem your life by fighting the enemies of Orzammar until your death. Do you have anything to say before the sentence is carried out? I understand your anger. You should have been allowed to defend yourself. Had I the power to stop this, I would have. Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't do this. For your father's sake. I believe you. That means Balin planned this from the start. Believe me, I will spend the rest of my days making sure Balin does not profit by his deeds. Your father asked me to give these to you. This sword and shield are a fine dwarven make. Strike a blow at our enemies. He is old and this tragedy has hit him hard. He will rest better now though, knowing the truth. I will. Open the doors and let the condemned walk through. May the stone accept you when you fall. be done.
careful now! Shall be done. Very well. Shall be done. By the Maker, it's a dwarf. Lord Idukan, what are you doing here alone? Where are your troops? Ah, you have been made to walk the deep roads then. You mean you were exiled? What happened? I do not think matters of dwarven honor are any business of ours. You need not answer, friend. It is not the way of this order to pass judgments on the pasts of others. You have already proven yourself both resourceful and skilled, and I would expect nothing less from an Idukan. I've been searching for those with your level of ability. Your exploits in the Deep Road set you apart. As leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden, I would like to formally invite you to join our order. Then welcome. We leave immediately for Ostagar to join with the human forces facing the Darkspawn hordes led by King Kaelin. Stay close. There are still Darkspawn around every corner. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times. 
but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. It's good to see one of the honorable stout folk outside Audemar. Sounds like there's a story behind that. You must regale me with it sometime. I do. I'll make sure to have the finest dwarven brew brought up from the palace cellars. After we've dealt with the blight, of course. I've been to Orzammar. King Endrin invited my father to a grand proving long ago. How does Endrin fare these days? Well... It seems your story may be even more interesting than I suspected. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the Blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true Blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the Tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Absolutely. We sent a call to the Grey Wardens of Orlais, and hope they will reach us before the archdemon does. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to.
Gracias por ver el vídeo.